What's up guys? It's a beautiful day outside and today actually for me and the wife it's laundry day. So we're gonna head down to the laundromat even during this quarantine go try and get some of our laundry washed and while I do so I wanted to answer a question that I'm sure it goes through every creator's head. Why do I even do this? <sighs> So in order for me to answer that question correctly, I need to give you guys a little backstory about me. So the first thing I want you guys to know is that none of these things from my past actually define me and who I am today. To start it all off, I was born and raised in Onalaska, Washington, which is a small town southeast of Olympia, Washington, the capital of the state. I only graduated with 30 kids, but guess what? That doesn't define me. I also played multiple bands ever since I was in high school and none of them ever made it big. But that doesn't define me. My best friend in high school died when I was only 17. But that doesn't define me. I dropped out of college after only one year to become a bartender. But again, that doesn't define me. I spent the last three years of my life studying marketing and actually made it my career. But guess what? Like I said before, that doesn't define me. None of that defines me. So that brings me to the question, what does define me? The burning fire in my heart to achieve more, to keep pushing through any struggle or any adversity, to always strive for better in my work, in my life, and for my family and my loved ones. My goal in life is to keep climbing up the mountain and to do better and better. So what's my goal for this channel? To film things, to be simple enough. But ultimately, I wanna learn as many tips and tricks as I can to help my filmmaking and in turn end up making a short film or possibly a feature length film. Now will this goal ever happen? I don't know, but I think it's great to have something to strive for, to always have a goal set to keep pushing you forward. In the world today, there are a lot of things that bring us down, especially now during this quarantine. But instead of focusing on the bad, let's look forward. Let's all strive for more. So I challenge everyone who sees this, do what you love doing during this time. Whether it be practicing an instrument, painting, studying a new topic, whatever it is, find your goal and spend this extra time to get that much closer to achieving it.